Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Sofia Demi and my partner Sarana Fahima Kadza. We are from Senior High School, Three Semarang. We are going to introduce you to our recent project which is FXA, spray of cinnamon bark extract with glucose from parents can brown sugar as antibacterial salmonella type. Did you know that World Health Organization reported that in 2019 an estimated 9 million cases of typhoid fever annually, resulting in about 110,000 deaths per year? In Indonesia itself, typhoid fever is estimated to occur annually at an average of 500 per 100,000 population. Typhoid fever became one of the diseases that are among the top 10 in Spanish in the school. And in all the study for one house in the world area, there was an increase in cases. Typhoid fever cases often occur in school age children. The frequency of eating random snacks with poor hygiene is a factor of the spread of Typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is life-threatening infection disease caused by Salmonella type B bacteria. Salmonella type B bacteria multiply in food that lacks proper hygiene. One of the most common treatment for typhoid fever is using chlorophenical antibiotics because it is cheap, easily available, and can be given orally. However, the use of chlorophenical can cause side effects such as bone marrow separation. We researchers were concerned and took a way to decrease the high number of typhoid fever cases. It's better to be safe than sorry. So in this research, we need Avexa and antibacterial spray to inhibit the proliferation of salmonella type B bacteria. We decided to use cinnamon bark, which has many antibacterial components, one of which is essential oil. In the process of making Avexa, we use a fermentation method that is believed to be the most effective way to get essential oil content with good quantity and quality. Referring to Ayurveda et al. 2020 and Intan et al. 2021, the antibacterial content of cinnamon bark in addition to essential oils such as mucinol and cinnamon which function as antibacterial, can be extracted out in fermentation. In this research, the problem we want to solve are can cinnamon bark and fermented can brown sugar be used to produce Avexa? How to make Avexa? What is the best composition? How much is the effective? Furthermore, the purposes of our research are first, analyzing the potential of Avexa, second, knowing how to make Avexa, third, analyzing the best composition of Avexa, and last, analyzing the effectiveness of Avexa. Subsequently, the research steps are divided into two, which are production process and the effectiveness steps. First step is FXA production process through fermentation. We made three compositions. Here is the composition of the FXA that we will make. This process begins with preparing the tools and materials. Next, prepare three empty gallons and give one liter of mineral water in each gallon. After that, weigh the cinnamon bark and canned brown sugar. Next, put cinnamon bark and canned brown sugar into the gallon. Then mix and stir all ingredients. After being well mixed, Close the gallon tightly with solution tape. Store for 3 months and after 3 months open the gallon lid. Then fill up the fermented liquid and drags. Last, put it into each bottle and voila! Avexa is done. Moving on the second step, the effectiveness test of Avexa. We start this process by making mekangki media. The next process is pouring mekangki media, then bacterial cultivation. Then, three composition of Avexa were tested for sterility on blood agar. The next step is find the best composition of Avexa. In Avexa composition 1, first prepare for mechanchimedia, then culture salmonella type bacteria tender to feed power as much as 100 microliter into mechanchimedia. In the first mechanchi, spray Avexa composition 1 after a count of 20 seconds. On the second mechanchi, after a count of 40 seconds. On the third mechanchi, after a count of 60 seconds. While the fourth mechanchi serves as a control. After that, all incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. The same salts were applied to the Avexa test of the second and third composition. From the test, we found that the third composition of Avexa being the best composition as antibacterial salmonella type. The next process is to test the effectiveness of Avexa on food and beverage. First, on test into solid food, rice is mixed with bacteria and then stirred using gloves. A sample of rice that has been mixed with bacteria is taken with a swab and then cultured on mechanical media. Then Plant it onto mechanical media. Media A is controlled and media B spray using the best composition of Avexa. The next step we test on soup and beverage. First, take one colony of Salmonella type bacteria and sieve into one of each subject test. For each subject test, we serve and culture plant into two mechanical media. Media A as control and media B spray with Avexa based composition. From the effectiveness test, we get the following data. The first is data on sterile test result. This test proved that Avexa has been tested as sterile with the result that composition 1 is less sterile because there is one bacterial colony that grows. Composition 2 and 3 are sterile because there is no bacterial colony growth. 
Next is the result of the best composition of FXA. As seen in table, it is found the bacterial colonies as time increases in FXA1, bacteria grow a lot in the outer and inner areas of the FXA spray. In FXA2, salmonella typhi grew even slightly in the outer and inner areas of the FXA spray. In FXA3, bacteria only grew slightly outside the spray area. We present the level of effectiveness in percentage and graphic form. Percentage is done with the formula and data sorts as follow. From the percentage calculation, it can be seen that FXA3 has the highest percentage level of effectiveness. Then in the form of graphic, based on layer in 2022, bacterial growth is usually the longer it takes, the more bacterial colonies will grow. However, in the graph, when the FXA composition tree test gets longer, average bacterial growth is decreased. Therefore, FXA composition tree becomes the spray with the best composition and effectiveness as an antibacterial salmonella type. After finding the best composition, we tested the effectiveness of FXA on food and beverage to further ensure its effectiveness. The following results were obtained. So, the conclusion of this research are first, FXA protection can be done through fermentation process. Second, the fermentation process is carried out for three months. Third, the best composition to make FXA is composition tree. And last, the effectiveness of FXA composition tree as antibacterial salmonella typhi is 85%. So, that the composition tree of FXA is proven effective as spray antibacterial salmonella typhi. And as education first, further research is needed in the form of FXA consumption feasibility test. Second, further research is needed regarding the effectiveness of using FXA on raw food ingredient. Third, further research is needed regarding the expiration test of FXR. That's all from us. Hopefully this research can be useful for the future. Thank you and see ya!